This is a meeting for the uh, Bedford Township Park Commission, April 8th, 2024. The Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right. <laughs> I'm glad you made it. It took me 20 minutes to get from to Stern. Crazy. All right. Approval of the agenda. Any additions to the agenda? Anything anybody want to add, change? Let's see everything. Motion to approve. Second. All, right. All in favor? Aye. 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 Approval of the minutes of the March 25th, 2024 Park Commission meeting. Let me look at that carefully. I looked at it quickly. Uh, the minutes, yeah, the only thing I see is only, you know, two people's commissioner's comments were put in, not everybody's. So we could either remove them all or use them all. I'm sorry. I think I just didn't jot it down. I was <laughs> oh, that's all right. I think I maybe just couldn't keep it going. One of those things, yeah. I missed it in my notes, huh? I didn't watch the YouTube on the way back. A motion to approve with that change. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Slips are done. Secretary's report. None. Nothing. All right. Treasurer's report. All right. Um, we have a total of $41,853.99 going out. The majority of that being the roof uh, at Car Park by Holt Roofing for $40,291.00. Two bills for two maids to clean. We have $115 for the Mineral Health Department for the water test at Samaria Park. A $1,105 for stump grinding at White Park. $12.99 for new locks for the camera box at Parmley Park. Any questions? Locks for the camera box? Yes, I opened it up and then I had to, I had to cut if the locks. Did, if you didn't see it these shot. Vandalized it last week. Flip the dumpsters and Porta John's oh, trash. Oh, I attempted to see if there was footage, but the cameras are not on. Because it's a breaker box in there. Okay, I'll make a motion to approve the treasurer's report. Need a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Carol says aye. Chris says aye. Jazz? Sure. Aye. 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 Okay. Community Ed. I saw your uh, comment about Community Ed, Jazz, and the, the only reason we do it is to save Nancy from coming down. It's a presentation. It's an advertisement. And it's to let the public know what's going on with Community Ed in the park. So I'm going to read it. This is a report for today. She says, happy Eclipse Day. Just a short update on what's been happening this month. Volleyball games started last Saturday with games running from 8 to 2 at the junior high school. The volleyball games will continue through May. We are getting ready to begin our spring soccer season with 335 players on 30-plus teams. Awesome. Great coaches like Chris helping us out this spring. The older kids will play on the old varsity soccer field. Cross country begins next week for another 50 plus runners who will also be sharing the area with four different baseball teams, 3B, Lady Mules, and a Bedford travel team. And we are still getting calls for more space. T-ball is rapidly filling up and we may need to cap it once we fill all of the fields. As well, Safety Town is filling up and Summer Parks is nearly full at this point. Golf, tennis, pickleball will begin in May along with various art and craft classes. Adult classes are also going strong. Volleyball runs three nights a week, basketball one night, but would like more. Line dancing is kicking up some dust with over 30 dancers and growing. Cardio and tone and yoga continues to round out some of our adult offerings. We look forward to a full summer and we'll be adding clinics and small trainings throughout the summer months. As always, thank you for your continued support and assistance. You are an important part of what we are able to do. Sincerely, Nancy Crandall. All right, no presentations. Public comment. No, I already made my comment. I'm ruining Target Park and Chicken Park. <laughs> <laughs> the 
Thank you, Lamar. <laughs> Anything? No? Nope. Okay. All right, unfinished business. Fireworks, food truck additions. Um, I had sent some to you, Chaz. I don't know if you contacted anybody new or you've just got the... to me and I contacted them. Okay, all right. Any new people? Any? Nope. nope, same ones. Okay. Anything, anybody know about the gravel for trail paths? Um, I've got one quote right now for $22 per ton, and it is class two manufactured sand is what we use there. Okay. Um, as we don't, I'd have to look at our budget. I haven't gotten three quotes yet. I got one because um, okay. I'm not sure if we even have the funds in our budget the rest of this fiscal year for it yet. So can we uh, go forward in July? I mean, if, if we don't have the funds, we'll have to just wait till July to do um, this, I'm guessing. I'm unsure okay. at the moment. At this moment, okay. The way our budget is, which we'll discuss at okay. 10D. Uh, water fountains, installation. I understand that um, they're here, they're ready to be put in, and we were supposed to get three bids on that. I don't know if Andrew, I thought Andrew was the one that was going to get those three. Um, Pat was actually working on bids for that. Is he got okay. them so far, I believe, from advanced plumbing. And that's it. So we really have to wait till we get two more. Okay. I guess we pass that on to next month. Which brings up budget discussion. <laughs> All right, it's my understanding, and you correct me if I'm wrong on this, Chris, because you've been doing the numbers, uh, that we are about $90,000 difference from what we get last year. Yes? Uh, I'm unsure of that exact number, but I do know they are moving things, such as our maintenance general over to the maintenance buildings and grounds, which I believe was about $40,000 of last year's budget. Okay. So okay, I, I, I'm unsure what direction the township's going with that. I mean, there's, like I've said, there still hasn't been any communication um, other than getting sent a sheet that says, look at department 262 or 267, whatever right. maintenance buildings and grounds is. Um, so as for general maintenance or maintenance general fund, I believe that from reading it, it's just so maintenance and the township can go off and make purchases and, and do things and just bypass us. So other than that, I mean, most of the stuff that's in the budget, I mean, looks pretty good. Uh, we don't have capital outlay anymore. This will be year two without that, because I believe they are going to rely on a, the capital improvement plan. And I understand that, but we still have things that we need to accomplish that aren't going to become under maintenance. So we're going to need some kind of line item. Oh, believe me, I know. For those for those items, and we're going to have to come up with an amount. I mean, I totally agree. Anstead and Wheeler, just those two parks, two thousand dollars a year to take care of the invasive species. Whenever we have to have Anstead burn, which is like every second year, that's another, I don't know, eight, ten thousand. I'm thinking when they charge us for that. The fire department, I didn't get the exact numbers on that. Then we've got, you know, we've got the trail that's got to be done at Anstead. We've got to have more gravel for that. And well, that's to do, this, it, to do so, it right, because it floods in several places, so we should dig it up and put an actual tile underneath there to do it right. But I don't know how much that's going to cost. So that's the stuff that they've moved over to buildings and grounds. When you look at the way they they're moved not it to build it, I, I mean, if you tell them you want a tile, they're gonna they're gonna farm it out and then they're gonna build it. My understanding, they'll go out and get bids and do it if they can just go out and get bids and do it without our approval. But if they've got to go out and get bids and do it and get approval from us on the bids, there nobody's gonna do it. Just like we're not gonna do it because we have to go to Township Hall and get approval from Township Hall. So that's good for the geese, good for the game. So. I'm sure they'll do it. We need I'm a line confident item. They'll do it. Give them a chance. We need a line item. Is uh, what we I'm need. just saying, you guys send it up to the board, you present it, and then it comes to us. Because if we shoot it down, then it's on us. It's not on you guys. You guys, look, we need this done. 
Well, there's a difference. I just figured it out. $71,331 from our 24 budget and what they want to give us for 25. So they've taken away $71,331. So I asked everyone to please give me information for your parks. Everything you think that, that you want to do that needs to be done routinely, you know, whether it's gravel or whatever, you know, uh, trees, trimming, trimming the trees over at Parmalee. I've got five trees over at Wheeler that got to go. And, you know, that's going to be, I don't know, $15,000 for three big trees to talk, no. take them down. I don't know. Last time I, it was like 10 for that one. Well, that's because you got bent over. I mean, that's too much for that three was the trees. One back in the woods at Wheeler that we took down. And then we had the one out in front by the electric. We paid ten thousand dollars. What did we pay? Five hundred for the one. Like nine hundred bucks, I think it was. That yeah, giant tree we had brought down it was nine hundred dollars. I want to say it could have been even less than that. I'm not positive, but it was more than that. No. Okay. Either way, if it's five hundred bucks, that's twenty five hundred dollars extra that we got to fit in the budget somewhere. So there's there's all these little things that we need a line item for. We need to say, you know, this is for. I don't know, contracted services? Will it go under contracted services? Then we can put it there. Either there or maintenance general. Now, maintenance general will get used up for other stuff, is what I'm afraid of. Then when, we, when it comes time to use this for Wheeler or Anstead or Parmalee or cutting trees then down any place else. For Wheeler, cutting trees down. Anstead, cutting trees down. All right, and that's what we need to do. Get that in. All right, Parmalee. What, what needs to go at Parmalee? I mean, you got trees that need cutting down. What? I mean, nothing that I. Parmalee needs a property survey, a small amount of fencing on the property line. Property and, survey would be great. And, yeah, at least on the one line. If, I, if we're ever going to do that project, I mean, I've kind of tabled projects. <laughs> you know, the parking lot project, that would be a pretty big undertaking, so. What about tree trimming? You got anything that's coming down over the fence? No, neighbor's not fence in or my anything? Opinion. Or, okay, no. all right. Hey, how's that guy doing with the disc golf posts? That you guys approve? The trade fair. He said he's coming anytime real soon. Good. Okay. I'll come to another meeting. I haven't soon. heard anything about the other disc golf people, though. Yeah, good luck with that one. Yeah. That's in Phil's court. How about fencing at Parmalee? How much it beats. are you guessing that's going to cost? Just to give a round number for each park. Oh, I'll get back with you in a few months. Okay. What fencing? <laughs> If, no, at the, if you were to take out the rest of the fencing for the skate park. Oh, just the removal of the fencing? To, to put fencing up just at the property line between the park and the Civic Club. Okay. How, how long is that? How many feet do you think? I'll get back to you in a few minutes. Oh, okay. All right. Differentiate yep. properties, keep cars from being able to freely drive back and forth. If you not now, but that's because the skate park fence is still up, and that's why it's still up. They they won't take it down until who won't maintenance. Us, we haven't. Us, we haven't taken it down. We could. I wouldn't recommend doing it without having something to deter driving through over there. All right, Chaz. What about White Park? You got anything? Nope. For next year? Nope. Anything at all? Fencing? Nope. Painting? Nope. Nothing? Nothing at all. It's beautiful. You don't want to add nope. trimming trees? Nope. Zero, zero dollars zero for a white dollars. park? It's good. It's lovely. <laughs> Cross the bridge when we come to it. Okay. All Those right. trees you planted are looking good. They are. I'm mm -hmm. glad that they're I don't think any of them died. Well, at least the ones I've seen are all blooming. No, I thought the four in the corner were... We're not going to make it. No, I didn't either. I was worried about those, but yeah, they're popping. I've, I've personally been fertilizer spiking them and putting water bags on them all this summer. And... No, look good. good. You did a good job. Yep, you brought them through. All right, anything else? I don't want to go line by line. We've done that before. The main thing was they took out our operating supplies. That was $750. You know, we don't really do much for operating supplies, so okay, that's not a biggie. Then they kept, we kept $10,000 for engineering fees, but we have to tell what project we want to use that $10,000 for. 
Otherwise, they're not going to leave it in there. They'll take that out too, and that'll be eighty-one thousand um, dollars. Sure. You guys have to realize this all may change after the election when you get a new supervisor. This, this is just. Well, I doubt it's going to change. Checking the dot well, eyes probably and keep crossing this. the T's. Uh, the two people running for supervisor at the moment have both been around the township for a lot of years while all these changes are going on, so I don't see it changing for the better. So I said it'll probably stay this way, I mean, till well, the next. Well, the same as Paul, so if you vote for Al, you're going to get that. Rick, Rick's kind of a rhino. That's, you don't know what you're getting there, but, I mean, prior, that's just an in for the Deckers. He's Decker's son-in-law, so that's going to be the realtors and the builders. So it, it, it still just depends on who gets in. You guys will see what, what happens. I don't know. Okay, any other uh, line items? So fencing, about 280 feet. Okay. Okay, anything else for Parmalee that you can think of? Or? No, not right now. Nothing I can think of for, for Wheeler and Anst other than what I already mentioned. I didn't do the project, I guess. You said you texted us. Saying, That's all right. You know. I did. I, yeah, I, well, I texted you because I knew you couldn't get into your email. So yeah, yeah, and yeah. I think I emailed Chaz. I mean, they could okay. regrade the outfield there. They did car park this last year for $10,000. Nothing I can think of in the context of the budgetary limitations. So that's cool. All right. You're not helping me. I'm trying I know. to get well, us back I mean, our ten thousand dollars. <laughs> well, it's just, if we need something, we ask, and they say yes or no. And you know, you guys have to ask for more because there's really no point to cut a lot out. I know. I know. Ask for this, and you'll get this. Yeah. Yeah. It's a thing. Okay. That's all we can do right now. Then I don't know what Andrew wants for car. Do you know anything? What the projects are there or didn't he say something about uh, the, that you're doing the needs that pavilion needs fixed yeah. and yeah. I'm not sure if the Lions Club is still going to donate seven match donate the seven thousand dollars if we pay the rest um, I wouldn't necessarily count on it but they should probably budget about twenty thousand dollars for that project the last quote was seventeen thousand okay. dollars um, we don't need engineering fees for that, though. I can't count that for the engineering fees. No, engineering fees, no, because you're gonna. We still got the pickleball pro courts are still gonna be going on, um, and things arise, you know. So the engineering fees should stay in there for pickleball court. Yes. Because no? we already paid that, didn't we? We haven't paid it all. No. Oh, okay. Pickleball court. Okay. Anything else at Car? You guys can think of other than the playground equipment, which is going to be a routine thing. Playground mulch, which is going to be a routine thing. No. You know, we approved the playground mulch at the last meeting. Yes, you did. Yes. Yep. Now it's just a matter of getting it and getting it in there. How about Samaria? Anything that you need to put in the budget that we didn't put in? Yes. Um, $350,000 to tear out the baseball diamond, the pavilion, and expand the parking lot back and around the building. That'd be good for, for $10,000. <laughs> We're going to need to put more than $10,000 in for, for that. And for contracted services in that case. We should just say that's for some area. Put a new line item for some area parking lot expansion. It probably won't get approved, but no, I mean, you put a line item for it. Yeah, I think we should. So they know what we're thinking. I thought you guys were looking at tearing out the gazebo to the left of it, like the gazebo and make the parking lot that way, because the uh, baseball field is it's, it's not big enough for you guys to play on, right? They don't. They're not the ones. They're not the ones that play on it. Um, but no, it's not really big enough for them to play on. They do practices on it. What about is it big enough for softball want to play there? Yes, can it be? Problem is, right now. Yeah. so the problem is we have that run. I'm gonna might as well just take that building down. Then, get rid of the I mean, that's get rid of the building. <laughs> you know, we're paying bills on it, and it's. I haven't done the numbers, but I doubt it's supporting itself. 
and it won't run out until there's a larger parking lot and you're still not going to get enough parking on the other side of the building. So there's like three people I just okayed today that yeah. rented some area though. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I think the there's people coming. Like you said, you need well, the building's a good building. It needs it just needs more parking. I think it was Chad who said, like to, hop, look to the left of the building, get rid of that gazebo, or turn that into parking. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's still not enough, but it's more than what you have. Yeah. I think the last thing you need to do is be tearing up ball diamonds. Right. No, but if we got rid of that big pavilion, you we'll could put three go ball back diamonds in with the parking. Three line. ball diamonds in behind the cemetery at Anstuff. Big open field, twenty acres. Undeveloped. No, you'd have to. No parking. You'd have to do a whole. Plenty of room for it. Plenty of room for it, though. Whole parking lot in there, but the neighbors yeah. are real quiet. <laughs> oh. All right, something to consider. I guess that's it. What am I missing? White car, Samaria, yeah. We'll add all that into the budget and hopefully support it. All right, on page two, I have something here, which I don't know if you guys have the same note I have. I don't understand this. 179,873 with a note that says restricted funds dedicated to pickleball court. And then we have plus 100. 36000 out of the general fund gives us $315,873 for the pickleball court. We'll let, is that what, what we need? Total? Sorry, what was the total? Three fifteen eight seventy three. I believe so. Okay. That's right around there, yes. All right. I mean, that's, that's all projected, though. That's not. Right. It hasn't been bid yet. Nope. I'm sure it'll go up from there. The longer we wait, the more it'll cost. All right, that's it. Um, I need a motion to accept. Oh well, I'm I'm still talking about the budget discussion. Do we need a motion to? Yeah, do we need a motion to approve what we just what we just talked about? I guess I'll make a motion to approve the budget as discussed. Need a second. Anybody? I'll second. All right. All in favor? Aye. As discussed, more so as presented. As presented. <laughs> like this, really this. Yeah, it's this, and we're we're, we're adding a little bit. You know, we're asking for some things. So yeah, we are we are asking, but uh, yeah. Right. Um, I'll, I second with the amendment of also the recommendation of moving the maintenance funds back from buildings and grounds to the parks budget for checks and balances purposes. That, I'm good with that. <laughs> okay. I guess we should go individually because it's going to amount to money. So, Aaron? Yes. Carol, yes? Yes. Yes? Yes. All right. Thank you. Parks update. Anstead Preserve. We're going to need gravel there. Um, trees are looking okay unless we get a big storm and something comes down. Everything looks good there. There's one tree that's a uh, tree of heaven that needs to get taken out that I'm aware of. Um, and then this year is a year to do spring, foliar spring again, so that's another 1500 to $2,000. That's gonna have to come in there. And again, the trail. The trail at Anstead floods in several spots. The only way that I can see to fix that permanently is to dig it out where it floods, put in a drain tile, but it's gonna have to be drain tile that can withstand the fire trucks that drive over that, because they drive back there. If it was just a walking trail, it wouldn't be bad. but but they drive back there when they do their burn. How often is that? Every two years. So couldn't we just much no more cost effectively build a little bridge going over that they can pick up and move out of the way That's once that, every now, two years when they go back once there? Once you bury, I mean, it's it's because you're not going to put a drainage pipe right at the top of the ground. No, it's going to Once you bury it a few trail. inches underground, it's stability just grows and the amount of pressure it can handle also adds up because the ground takes a lot of the pressure so but there are a lot of drain tiles through there so 
It may be just a plug drain tile. How many spots? I think there's three on the north side, with that, the north side and only one that I noticed on the south side. But there, there's a lot of drain tiles going from the inside across under that trail to the creek. Well, I mean, Excuse you us, can, can we make, where the water yes, make sure everybody has their microphones on, please? Is your microphone on? Oh, mine's not. There you go. Good man, he catches so, that stuff. They want to look at your drain tiles first. And another thing with Anstag, you're not you're not running again, right? Yep. Nope. You may want to get on talking since you've been the one handling that with the fire department now about because I believe this winter is the, going to be the upcoming next burn that's needed. We want to do something it. you want to. We want to do it this spring, but again, fund is yeah. Yeah, you may want to get talk to them and get it set up so that way the next board it's ready for them. It, it'll be a little. It'll be a little easier for them to get into it than what it was for us. So. Okay. Okay. How about Cars Grove? Anybody other than the pickleball courts? We've got no update on that. Um. I drove by the other bids, right? Manic and Smith is bringing the bids. Still waiting on them to bids get are supposed to be, yeah, I don't know if the bids are posted yet. They're, no, they're not. They're yeah. working on them. Okay. They were asking about the lighting, oh, which right. we're not going to have as, as far as we discussed. So I just wanted to wait till tonight, and I'll email them back tomorrow or tonight. Because then we can, if in the future, we can always go back and put in solar flood lighting if we want. But there doesn't necessarily need to be lights with a switch that turn on and off, but something that maybe turns on motion-wise eventually. So, which is something I'm looking into for uh, Parmalee at the moment. And we'll possibly bring estimates to you guys in the near future. Okay. Well, that brings us to Parmalee. So what else for Parmalee? Uh, it's a busy park. Everybody's there playing disc golf. I, mean, I don't think we should do anything with the skate park area until we get those engineering bids back, I guess, even though we were told nothing's going to happen there. Got shot down on the dog park. Anybody got any other ideas for the space? Parking lot. <laughs> parking lot, parking lot, parking lot. Yeah, I guess, you know. Yeah, you must not have seen the freaking post over the weekend, though. Yeah. Some little freaking hoodlums we eat and trash the place. And they, they dumped the dumpster. Oh, gosh, they kicked I... over the porta potties. Chris was there picking up garbage. They threw it. Well, I just got back in. into town. When was on this? Sunday? Saturday? Two weekends ago. Two Saturdays ago, ago, really? Yeah. Two weekends ago, yeah. yeah. Oh, well, and this is why we're fast. not going to approve anything. Yeah, I agree. Right. Any. So if, I if anything. I mean, yeah. pickleball, I'll approve pickleball because they <laughs> actually maintain and take care of their stuff. And I would love to see them old people that play pickleball beat the crap out of them little freaking boys. Well, I don't know. <laughs> okay. That's good. Moving okay. on. Okay, point taken. Good. Uh, Samaria. Nothing new with Samaria. I mean, that's... Nothing needs really done there. I mean, that's like I said, all it really needs is a bigger parking lot, and yeah. White. Uh, nothing other than just waiting for somebody to do something about the fence back there that got damaged by that car. So the uh, hall was going to fill out a incident report or whatever, and get the insurance involved. And the one the insurance is involved. I've got the, I got the quote. I Larry King was supposed to send the quote. Long Douglas. Yes, it I think does. it's fixed already. No, it's not. Oh, it's not. No. Okay. I um, I got a quote. Cool, I was actually looking for that. It was supposed to get sent over. It never got sent over, so I went and got it and brought it over to him the other day, and Great. it's getting situated, from my understanding. As for getting fixed, I mean, it's not going to get fixed right away. It's got to get approved through the insurance, and then we could find somebody to fix it. It was over the fifteen hundred dollars, so three bids. Okay. Wheeler Preserve, like I said, there's five trees waiting to get cut down over there. Um, maintenance was supposed to take the big pile of mulch that's sitting there and put it on the trail in the woods. That hasn't happened yet. They assured me, oh, yeah, over winter we'll have plenty of time. Well, now it's time to mow, and they're not going to have the manpower to do it because they'll be mowing. Pocket parks, other than your new acquisition of a pocket park. <laughs> yes, the Joaquin Butterfly Park. <laughs> um, 
Just be careful. Pocket parks, just be, pegs, sheep, I don't care. We'll get a pocket park for sale. Get a pocket Odd. park, yeah. You guys put one out for bid a while back. Never heard anything about it for all that time. Yeah, if you could bring that up at your next meeting, I'd appreciate yeah, it. Be, make a note. Yeah. You know, and See what happened with that? Like we when we when we voted on it, we did it with a recommended yeah. mit we did a record when we voted on it. We recommended a fifteen thousand dollar minimum bid, um, because we understand that while it is buildable, it's with difficulty, um, and a big reason is not so much as we're trying to make all kinds of profit on these properties, as we are trying not to pay for maintenance on them in the future. You want it on the next agenda? Um. Yeah, yeah, to go back out for bid again. I will call Trudy. Well, she's on vacation, so I'll, I'll call tomorrow, though, and try and get on there again for you guys. All right. It's probably going to need a, a cover letter from us, though, right? Yeah. I don't think I, you can do it. You all can. I have to do is okay it. Mm -hmm. So, because you guys submit that we want this, we want this, we want this, they're going to be like, no, it's not happening. Because they need my approval to freaking okay it, which, whatever, it is what it is. But I will let them know tomorrow to expect something from you guys. Okay. If you want the, co the property, a cover price, <clears throat> reevaluated, go out for bid again at a lower price. So it's out right I mean, now. No, it, no, it, it was out. It away. was out. Why did it get removed? It never got any bids. It, it didn't get any bids. It went you can only put it out for bid for so long, I believe. I oh. Hold on, I'll make a motion to put the property at on Cover Bridge back up for bid with a minimum bid of fifteen thousand dollars. I'll second. Wasn't right. we what didn't you say that was the previous minimum that we had? That's what we had, but the township put it out with a forty five. Oh, okay, I thought okay, we okay, put okay, it for okay, thirty five. Okay. Well, yeah. Maybe. Oh yeah. yeah. Whatever it was, because we went by Phil's recommendation. And and that's Is he's a realtor? <laughs> Whatever. That's Recommended and freaking okay. went with it and got no bid. And now it didn't get sold. Okay. Or you put that I second. corner list. Thousand dollars, yeah. You got the list. I can't believe I'm the only one to bid on it though. I thought for sure that neighbor would buy it. I'll give you fifty dollars for it. I, I second. I second Chris's uh, motion for the fifteen K. That's Chicken good. Park. All right, all right, all in favor. Hi. Hi. Okay. Thank you. Anything else for pocket parks? Any of the other ones have problems or we're aware of? Nobody's nobody's called me. Anybody called you, Aaron? No? Okay. All right. Good. No news is good news. Did you? in my shop. Yeah? About Parmalee Park, though. Just for freaking little hoodlums. Oh, okay. And I guarantee you there's freaking parents out there that know whose kids that did it, too. You better own up and freaking just take the punishment. Maybe we should have a, uh, on the weekends, have a uh, police presence. Deputies are, deputies are patrolling. I, I, I even police, told Chris, because I have cameras at my shop, okay? Yeah. So I got these five little kids dicking around at my shop and in the back and everything else, and I showed Chris. I mean, they came from Parmalee Park. You can't prove it was them, but you guys need to get working cameras at that park. Just to my, if you can watch it on, because I can watch the camera on my shelf. We didn't have before when we had a skate park. It'd be hard so to get now. So you guys know. just need to have something that can be monitored. So when these little freaking hoolums do that. Lighting might help as well, because that was why I talked to the deputy, Deputy Jackson, that went out there. Yeah. It was called while it was going on, because people could, in the neighborhood could yeah, hear. Yeah, it was bad. The barrels they, being the thrown around. The police actually responded. That's responded how bad it about was. Midnight on that Friday night. Wow. But he even said he got that he couldn't see anything. It was so dark back there, mm -hmm. just pitch black. I mean, he had his spotlight on, his cruiser with the brights on, his flashlight. Yep. Um, he recommends that we get lighting and get working cameras back there. But the big thing would help was just, is the lighting. Yep. That would help not only for them to see, but it would help in deterrence. So when all the parents want to complain about how there's nothing at Parmley, it's because your kids are destroying it. Yep. I, I mean, there's a few people that ruin it for all, when it, uh, that goes with everything, but these, and I guarantee you, those few people, those parents know exactly their kids were not at home at midnight. So it's a few people that ruin it for everything, and it is what it is. 
Okay, Ted. Moving on. I'm in the public. Chat. Lamar Frederick, 3254 Deer Creek Drive. That's not the first time that Parmley Park's been trashed. Uh, it's not the first time. It's not the first time by any stretch of the imagination. It happened uh, half a dozen times when I was supervisor. Uh, kids would come in and turn the porta potties upside down, and they would just tear up the place. Uh, and so I, it, it's, I don't know if it's the neighborhood or what, but uh, uh, it's not, not the first time and probably won't be the last time. Uh, Cars Grove, fortunately, most of the time is pretty well protected because I think the people over there watch it closely. So and the parents, the parents there are also take care of it. Uh, I'm going to bring up the uh, playscapes one more time. Uh, we really need to be sure that they're safe, and if they're not, uh, get that. rid of them. Get, get they they were put in in 2002 and three. Uh, I was the tail end of my supervisor period. Uh, and they've they've served their purpose. They've done a really good job over the time. First first day, car park was open. Kid broke his leg or his arm. That happens. Uh, lastly, uh, I'll bring up the pocket parks again. I just think that you uh, part of your strategy be get rid of them, uh, except for Todd. So, <laughs> either that or put. You know what? I may donate it back, Lamar. Oh well, then you can put free range chickens on. Temperance Action Committee. There you yeah, go. They can have it. That caused the supervisor's office to butterfly go Butterfly Park. Yeah. You know what? We'll call it the Paul Peroni Butterfly Park. How about oh, that? He's got one already. It's next door. <laughs> and put free range chickens on it. And uh, that would be worth it. Anyhow, thank and you. We'll give the eggs to all the people. Thank you, Lamar. <laughs> Anyone else? Anyone? No? All right. That brings us to Commissioner's comments. Jazz, you got anything to say? No? Chris? Uh, yeah, so speaking of the Playscape safety, I've been talking with our insurance agent um, and working on scheduling a day with him, I believe, in May, uh, doing a risk assessment on the parks. Beautiful. Yep. That's all. Okay. Todd? Do you guys need anything from me? Right now on my agenda, I have to... Go to Trudy, and I'm going to say you guys are going to submit, so make sure to approve it, a $15,000 minimum bid on the pocket park at Covered Bridge. Is the, the Bridgeway. Pro, I yeah. What, Bridgeway. That property over the what, whatever the hell it is. Bridgeway. You guys know what I'm talking about. Yeah, Jesus yeah, Christ. Well, man. So anyway, so $15,000 minimum to put on. Do you guys need anything else besides that? Not that I can think of. How about you? I think that's it for now, Todd. Thank you. Okay. Aaron? Nope. Nothing? Okay. Uh, yeah. No, well, actually, no. Yeah. I want that millage on your guys' agenda before we pay the bill and write it off. I'd okay. Rather, I'd oh. rather you guys make a decision before what, we spend. What? Okay. What, so what do you want on there? How? Like what What percentage millage? What point millage? Point what? Point four seven five. Point four, so seven, point five. four seven five millage. Five years. For five years. For five years. How would that work? Are you still going to be under the thumb of the township if nope. you get that millage? No. Oh, you get no. Well, just like library, if that millage gets well, approved, don't. now you guys have your own funds coming to you, so you do not have to get approval from the board to spend it. Like, I or, mean, you still those, have to get the okay. For but, those specific items, though, we've only got exactly. five things that we put on there for that millage. But until that gets approved, yes, you still need our approval. Yep. But and it's I not an operating village. So therefore, we still but, need funds dude, it's for the township pass. to operate. In, in Biden's economy right now, dude, everyone is, their pennies are pinched. No one's going to vote for a tax raise. Okay. Aaron? I hope you're not running again, Chris. No. <laughs> you're okay. screwed, buddy. Not running again. The only thing I have to say is, Ed, I don't appreciate what you said. I understand that, you know, part of it is, is your feelings on it and what you're going to do. But I think as the liaison to the parks, you should support what we're doing, what you do privately. A millage? When you vote, when you vote that's up to you. But, yes, you should support the parks. Oh, I'm not supporting a millage at all. In that Holy case, moly. you should consider resigning as our liaison. 
And we okay. should get somebody that will support the parks. I mean, you've been very supportive. I'm not saying I, you haven't. I'll tell you what. In I, this thing, I have supported Carol. everything you have done, except I'm not supporting millage. Dude, this economy is screwed right now. Under Biden, no one has extra money to spend, and you guys are going to ask the taxpayers. Personal, that's a personal choice. I'm not supporting it. So I, on choice. the board, I'll be voting no, but I will definitely present it. I, I can't believe that you just said that. I really can't. He's not allowed to have his own opinion? He is, but not when he's talking as our liaison. Yes, when you go in and vote. So you want him to be honest? You don't want him to be honest, You then? can vote any way you, you want. You want him to be honest, then? You just, just want him to rose-colored want glasses, him to, everything? I don't want him to convince everybody listening that, oh, my God. Oh, he's the whole reason off was, all the time. Nobody well, listens to him. What you said, Todd, what you said that the township had X amount of dollars in their rainy day fund. But part of that is already spoken for. So we, we have in, actu in actuality, we got about three half. million yes. unallocated that we can spend. There we go. That's what we have. And that's the rainy day We have, have 4.7, but 3.3 .3 we can spend on I just, I just want to be clear. Want. The township board has $3.3 .3 million. Yes. yes. Parks do the not. Parks do not. There you go. The parks don't, but you guys are under under the general freaking yes. maintenance. And, now. and yeah, they. How many things is they, have they shut us down for? Right. Everything. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So the only way we're going to get forward, in my mind and the majority of the parks here, was to go for a millage. Have fun with that help, one, guys. It would help the next board. It isn't going to help us, but it would help the next board. So that's all I have to say on that. Um, other than that, I hope everybody enjoyed the eclipse. It was awesome. Okay. We had a whole 30 seconds, 30 seconds of darkness. Did you see how backed up track it was? My grandkids loved it. <laughs> my kids. All right. I need a motion. Go to the car park. Uh, oh, that's that's my yard work. comment. You guys want to start? Wait, hey, hold on. We saw Second Our park, anybody? Anybody want to start switching it up? No, George will hate us. No, no, not now. Hold, hey, no, nope. Chaz has something. We got a motion on the table. We got a motion to adjourn. No, Chaz has oh, wait, something. Wait, so it's nice. Aaron didn't do his commissioner comments. I didn't really have any other than that. didn't, have, didn't any. have any. My kids wanted to come and be at car park and play, and I, you know. <laughs> it was fun when we used to do that and go to car park. I mean, I'll, I'll motion it next time. It's still the spring. It's okay. We got time. We got time. Uh, I would like to start doing that again eventually. Okay. All right. I will put that on our next agenda. Sure, there we'll you go. We'll vote on that on the next agenda. That's a good place for it. In our next that meeting, we're still at Government Center, right? Yes, yes we're we are. We're not going to the parks yet. Not that's yet. That's about. what yeah, we're going to talk about on our next agenda. All right. All right. So motion, motion on the table to adjourn. Okay. You want a second. second? Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. We are adjourned. Thanks. Good.